Okay, so I'm trying the camera again. I played it down another couple inches or an inch. It's not real fast going and I'm fairly fast at platting, but I care more about getting everything seated the way I want. <clears throat> That's just me being me. So. But this is a real simple Whitmaker plate, under two over two in rawhide. Should make a nice bolo tire. It's uh, coming down to about a quarter of an inch. There's a two millimeter piece of twine that's spun out of goat rawhide in the metal that I spun in a previous video if you're interested in spinning twine out of goat hide or out of rawhide. If I spin this material, it ends up about three millimeters instead of two, and I wanted a two millimeter core, so when I put laid this down, it would be roughly five or six millimeter. So, and so far I've done about six inches. So I'm not real fast at this, but accuracy and not having to go backward, especially when you can't check your work. Uh, this, this is the Fleabing's Rawhide Cream. It's very similar to Daniel Mor uh, David Morgan's uh, plating mixture with ivory soap and lard or ivory soap and tallow. I use tallow usually in my mixes. I don't like the soap part of it very much. So, but it does work well. Again, you can watch the angle of the swivel up here and it helps keep the pleating really straight if you pay attention to it. Again, I don't recommend plaiting or pleating uh, uh, rawhide barehanded. I can't, I can't see the skin surface very well and I can feel it in my fingers and it's easier for me to keep it straight. And I end up with paper cuts, even though this is really well, <clears throat> really well trimmed up rawhide, it's still the bottom side gets sharp. So, to all you people who are interested in plaiting or playing around with the rawhide that are interested in this, Share it with your friends. Give a like. It's uh, somebody who isn't a rawhide person playing with it. Uh, again, I have plenty of experience breeding, but I don't have plenty of experience with this material. And so just for fun, I thought I would share my exploration of making progress and learning. So I think too few people are willing to show the mistakes they make and share their process for how they learn something new. And I've always been a person to share what I do because the world needs more people making stuff. The world needs more craftsmen in my estimation, or craftswomen, craftspeople, however you want to call it. People that care about what they do. You'll probably see my hand crank kind of sewing machine thing that 
I bought to play with. I don't actually do much solid leather stuff. But I have an idea for a horse hide uh, powered strop. And to be able to touch up tools real quick or polish with. And I need. I need a small sewing machine, and that thing is great if you're not having to use it for hours. So. And you'll notice when I'm pulling this and pulling it through, I always make sure I'm taking the triangular bottom side that's rough and rolling it around the core. And that helps keep the skin side up so you don't roll it because I can't I can't see it up above. I can feel it, but I can't see it. And you don't have to be able to see what you're doing, but you do have to pay attention with your fingers if your eyes won't see the fine stuff you're plaiting. got the gist of this now. And at this point I'm right at nine inches in. And so I'm less than a fourth of the way in for what I need for a bolo cord because I want a, more than a couple feet. I'd like to have a piece that's three foot so I can select the nicest pieces. I might need to put more tension on it than this, but I don't know for sure how it's, it looks like it's locking in real well, but it's kind of hard to tell. And this is an under two over two. And you can see the water stain is coming off of my hands a little bit. So I used a black water stain to stain mostly the back side of this rawhide. I don't expect it will stay on the top, but I stained it while it was like this where you could bend it and it would stay bent, but not, uh, not any wetter than that. And I let it dry a little bit and then I spritzed it down. I was... I'm in Arizona, so it's the it dries out faster than you'd believe. And so I'm constantly fighting to keep it the material consistently the right temper. And that's the other nice thing with this on the hook is I can take it off and move this whole thing into a bag.
and I'm dragging enough of it onto the, onto